What is up guys, Grenader here. Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to Twixter effect and sync your clip, I guess. So it's a Twixter tutorial along with a syncing tutorial because why would I show you how to Twixter without showing you how to sync it? So uh, let's get right into it. Now before we start, you want to find the song and you want to find the gunshots for the gun you'll be using in the clip. So let's say for in my case I'm using a ballista in the clip and so I'm gonna go to YouTube type in ballista sound effect and download it and then find a song and download it as well now once you have that you want to create a brand new composition by hitting file new and then project or whatever and then you go down here and then you create a new composition and you name it whatever you're gonna name it I named mine main comp and then just the uh, um, the resolution and the frame rate and all that stuff so once you have that set you want to make another composition and just drag your clip into it so this is just the clip as is unedited and it's just the clip itself now because what we're gonna do is that we're going to fix the clip before we twixter it and so we're gonna do that in two separate compositions now uh, what you want to do is you want to um, make sure the the composition time is longer than what the clip is so the clip I think is about 10 seconds long so what I did is that instead of leaving it at 10 seconds I added 20 seconds to it because instead alright so before my mom interrupted me um, let's get right back into the video now like I said the clip is 10 seconds long and when you twixter you tend to run out of space and then you just kinda have to drag it and you'll see what I'm talking about so just add 20 or 10 just add 10 or 20 seconds to your composition or basically double the time that the clip is so um, you wanna go over to your um, composition with just a clip in it and so again I can show you all you have to do is just drag it in there like that and boom there you go um, why is it like that the Oh, I dragged the wrong one. Okay, so here it is. This is the clip in its entirety, unedited. It's just the clip itself. So what you want to do is you want to go to composition. You want to go to composition settings, and you want to go to the width, or basically 1280, and you want to hit the asterisk key, which basically is like a multiplication thing, and you're going to do 1.25. It's going to do that. And I like it when you can see the checkered background or whatnot, but you know, that's up to you. But uh, you want to do that to basically make the composition a bit smaller. And then you want to go to motion tile and just drag that onto the clip itself. And then you want to do um, 125 on the output and 125. And then you want to do mirror edges. And it looks kind of weird, kind of funky looking, but. Um, since Twixter tends to warp the the clip this will kind of reduce warping so you want to move on to the regular clip itself and then or not the clip but the composition and you want to drag the the ballista composition over so this is the one that we basically made all funky looking and then we go over here and I just figured out my mistake. So I did 1280 by 7 or 1920 by 1080 instead of, you know, what it should be. And a step that we forgot in this one was to scale this up to 101 or 102, whichever one you prefer, just to make sure we get rid of those uh, black edges just in case. And then there we go. There we go. So as you can see, it doesn't look mirrored because it's, you know, there and so there it is and now when we warp it or when we twixter it, it's gonna warp a little bit but you won't be able to tell a lot so um, what we want to do is we want to find the parts where he kills some booty and then we're gonna um, just cut it up so um, this is the first guy he's not really sure what he's doing and so what we're gonna do we're gonna go frame by frame and um, since this was like in hardcore or something, you can't really tell when he shoots other than the that. So I guess I'll just do that. Mm, I don't know. Pow. I don't know. 
people can't really tell one frames of like like it's a frame of a difference so people won't be able to tell you know so you're just gonna go to the other guy and then again um, usually um, clips like this have a um, oh, what the frick did I do but yeah usually clips have um, the HUD or whatever you call it where you can see the bullets you know and then we're gonna go over to this side and then bang 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 in the booty bang bang all right so bang there it is so this is clip one and then clip two and then clip three perfect and so now we're just going to go to the gunshots which is right here and we're going to zoom out a little bit I'm going to click on this first part and you want to hit the um, beginning bracket or just drag it over and um, you want to do the same for the other one just zoom in make sure you get on the sound first because the sound is what matters in here and then you want to go like that and then like that and so there we go so now it's gonna go like pow, 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 and it's gonna be synced. And this uh, we'll fix that later. But let's go pow, pow, pow. And so as you can see, there's this black area that will be filled up with the Twixter. So uh, without any further ado, or do you put Twixta, Twixta, Twixta? Did I misspell that? Oh, there it is. I think I did. Um, you drag that. Whichever one, pro or not pro, you know, it's the same thing. And then you want to drag it over here, fix the frame right. And then you want to um, just get where he shoots, which is right here. He shoots. And then it's like he kind of like zooms back, I guess, like that. Like he, like he scopes out. And so I'm going to um, keyframe this. Um, hit U, by the way, so you can see the keyframes zoom in a little bit. And it's like he shoots and he's unscoping. And then you want to go five frames or so one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to slow it down to like five. And then, um, like I said, just drag that to where it's like that, like that, and then you want to match this with the speed. Oh shit! Right there, I got it. Yeah, there we go. So. Um, like I said, you just, you know, he kills the guy and then you keyframe it and then you put the Twixter in the slow-mo and then he's spinning around and then boom, he shoots that guy. So this keyframe back here, just play with the time until you get to where it's almost, you know, right there. Like this is just a couple of frames and you won't be able to tell that well. So, um, just do the same for the rest of the clip. So as you can see. Um, I'd do it right there and I just click on the second clip drag Twixter on to that clip as well um, again fix the frame rate 94 um, keyframe um, hit U and just go up a couple of frames like that and then drag it change it to 5 and then just kinda go over to this clip and just you can kinda see where, he, where he's at so just drag this out like so and so you want to get close to that so just um, start increasing the time until you get to a point where like it's almost right there sort of like right there and then boom yeah and then you do the same thing for this one so you're scoping out probably like right there would be a good spot you add Twixter again and then you know change the frame rate and four and then keyframe it, you hit U, 
see the keyframe go like five frames or so then you change it to five and then it just kind of does that and in this case um, we don't have to adjust the time but we're going to anyways because fuck it like that I guess And there we go, that is the whole thing. And so let's just zoom out a little bit. And let's um, click on this clip, bring it like that to where we can actually see what's going on. And then boom, and all that shit starts. So um, as you can see, there's a little bit of warping because it's a lot of movement and whatnot. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. And hopefully you have, um, RSMB or real real smart motion blur whatever and just drag that on to the clip and it will um, Make it a little bit more smoother. Um, it'll hide the the warp a little bit better and it will look just in general better. So um, Let's just take a look at this real quick and see what it looks like Whoa, okay. I like that Whoa, okay, so hopefully you're watching this as I am and it's like whoa All right, let's take a look at this guys. It's pre-rendered comp re pre-render this and it's gonna look freaking awesome, man It's gonna look so cool and you guys are gonna just you know squeeze one out while you watch this It's gonna be epic, but yeah guys. This is pretty much it if you enjoyed the video uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and just let me know what you want to see next and I know I'll be here to comply with that so I mean you you probably already saw the end result because it showed up in the before the video even started but you know you're here with me you know you're chatting with me we're like hey we're like bros dude we're just talking to each other I'm like hey you're you're probably saying hey and I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, just watching your video. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And yeah, you know, yeah. So my desk setup, desk setup, you know, that's pretty cool, right? And stuff, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.